So some have asked what is in the bookshelf of Dr. Story and I'm going to go through that with you today because I think you will find this interesting. What does a chiropractor have on his bookshelf? So let's start at the bottom and we'll just kind of go through this. So because I need to clean as well. So the first book that I have here is from when Lance Armstrong was uh, doing well. Uh, it has I forget if this was a gift or not. I think this was a gift. And it shows all the great photos and things like that when Lance Armstrong was really killing it. And then, little statistical thing. My favorite um, bike race is Perry Roubaix. And this is a called Perry Roubaix, A Journey Through Hell. And it's just got all these ancient uh, pictures of when. Harry Roubaix got started. So now let's get into the clinical stuff. So what I have here, this is a book that I uh, really learned a lot from in school called Clinical Neuroanatomy Made Ridiculously Simple. And um, it's more clinical than it is diagnosing Bell's palsy, diagnosing strokes, diagnosing um, motor deficits. Uh, sensory deficits, all these things, and learning all the tracks of the spinal cord. By the way, I'm an Amazon affiliate. Not that that matters, but the thing is, is that if you want, what I'll do is I'll put some of these books uh, in the link down below the video. So if you want to purchase any of them, you can get them sent to your door and I'll tell you, uh, this is a great book if you have neurological problems. Uh, it's, a sim it's simplified, but it's a good way to learn. And then this next book, uh, this is a great book. It was actually written by a chiropractor just north of me about, actually I could ride to his uh, office in about three hours. Uh, he's not far away, but this is a good book uh, called Foundation Training. Ironically, it's forwarded by Lance Armstrong back when he was popular. Uh, I'm sure he took that away on his new one, um, but by Eric Goodman. And a lot of the videos, the core, some of the core videos on my channel are actually based on some of this. And then I have a book here called Stretching Scientifically by Thomas Kurtz. And this I would say is a little bit old, but it's basically the East German methods of uh, stretching and gaining flexibility, especially for combat sports. And then I have another book here. Again, these, whoops, these made ridiculously simple books. This is called ophthalmology uh, made ridiculously simple. So when you look into someone's eyes, what you're actually looking for. Um, I don't really use this a lot because um, if someone has an eye problem, they're going to the optometrist, but we had to learn it in school. And then these two books, boy, these are old, but these were the original books written by McKenzie uh, Robin McKenzie, How to Treat Your Own Neck and How to Treat Your Own Back. And basically when the first lumbar roll uh, got started. So these are actually extremely valuable books because a lot of the principles of movement in physical therapy or chiropractic to reduce nerve pain uh, from herniated discs, these are so oversimplified, but really they're awesome books. The next book that I have is by Syriax, and I don't recommend that you buy this, this one in particular, but this is a book called Textbook of Orthopedic Medicine by James Syriax, and it talks about, uh, and this is so old, this guy was an osteopath, and um, he did not like chiropractors. In fact, he says it somewhere in the book. However, look at this, thoracic spine rotation during traction three. Look what he's doing uh, to that patient. Man, you thought the ringy dingy was uh, bad. Man. So then this book, this is probably the greatest book ever written on how to analyze the spine. Uh, Motion Palpation and Chiropractic uh, Technique by Leonard Fay and Schaefer. And this is basically tells you how I actually analyze the spine. I've gone through a lot of this on some of my YouTube channels uh, videos. In fact, if I remember and try to remind me if I didn't do it, uh, 
let me know. But I'll put one down either on this side or this side of how I analyze the spine to determine how and where to adjust the spine. And that's what this book is. It's really a good book. And very often, about every couple of years, I'll reread the entire book and um, uh, always learn, pick up something new. Sometimes you won't um, utilize a certain motion for a long time and it just kind of falls out of your eyes. This is a book, I don't know why I have this because I have other books, but uh, this is a good book to learn physiology. There are so many questions about intermittent fasting, diabetes, how to lower your blood sugar, and many people are selling diets and they almost break the rules of basic physiology. So this is an extremely cheap book if you want to get it. It's, it's not really for kids even though it's a coloring book. You're supposed to color it so that it makes it easy to learn, but um, I've gone through, you know, this is chemical control of respiration. And so I have a video that's pretty popular on how to breathe so that it reduces your blood pressure. And many people don't even know the chemistry of breathing. So then I have notebooks here and some of these notebooks, this is from, oh Lord, 1992 when I took an activator seminar. I still have that. This is a notebook of uh, when I learned from Dr. Goal. He actually typed out notes for us on how to locate subluxated uh, segments. Here's a thing on the arthrostim. Oh wow, 1995 <laughs> when I took motion palpation seminars. Again, from uh, that book on Schaefer, they had seminars. And then I actually have here, let's see, I have just notebooks, uh, notes that I've taken over the years of how I do chiropractic and things. Um, this is my marketing uh, book. I'm not going to show you that. That's secret. And then Gonstead seminars, just gobs and gobs of, of notes that I've taken on yellow pads, just like Jerry Seinfeld, right, of how to adjust the spine. And then science-based nutrition. I have books on nutrition. Again, more, more subluxation uh, books. This is a book I found. This was fascinating. I don't even know if they make it anymore, but uh, Science of Sports Training. Uh, this was actually how the East Germans uh, trained. And it's actually a really interesting book of how they organize their training and try to peak for like the Olympics or anything. Didn't talk a lot about drugs, but you know, that was secret stuff. And then this is an old book, Arthritis and Common Sense. And surprisingly, you know what this book says to do? Uh, it's kind of like a keto diet. Interestingly enough, uh, high f it doesn't even say fish oil. It says that you need to take cod liver oil and orange juice and eat lots of fats. It basically talks about how the vegan diet uh, deprives us of oils and what happens is oils are what makes joints work. It's almost like it's almost too simple. So that's a good book. If I can remember I'm going to put that in the link because you should read that book. I have more notes from uh, seminars and then actually gosh what's this doing here? Norman Rockwell. Does anybody even know who Norman Rockwell was? Um, oh my goodness you know what I have here? Put down in the comments, who is this? Who does that look like? That is a drawing that I did. Of course, I did not date it. I know I did this in high school because I was using Norman Rockwell as an as a inspiration to do drawings. But who does that look like? I'll give you a, a hint. In the 80s and 70s, she was a great singer and still has a set of pipes and still sometimes sings in California. What else do I have here? More notes from seminars. These are not important. Uh, let's see. Uh, neuromuscular re-education seminars. I'm gonna shove those over here. And then what's this here? Notebooks again. Oh, the Windsor autopsies and different motion palpation things. Uh, seminar books seminars, catalogs. All right, so let's go into the second 
uh, one here. Triathlon. Ooh, this is good. This is when I used to uh, swim in triathlons. So swimming triathlon made easy. Here's one for you. You'll never guess what this is. The Jacqueline Way to Vibrant Good Health. I found this in a used bookstore. This is awesome. And you know what's interesting? It has things on nutrition in here. Look at these pictures of the lady working out. Isn't that awesome? Let's see, what else? pH, cancer, little uh, books, nutrition books. Uh, this is interesting. The Napoleon Hill, wow, Laws of Success in 16 Steps. Look at the thickness of those books. I read through them a couple times, too. Let's see, what else we got here? Ultra Marathon Man by Dean Carnassus. That was a great book when he was younger. Barry Sears, his original Zone book. And these are good books. Look at this. You should read this book. This is, this is the best. The Richest Man in Babylon. What a great book this was. It was in a storytelling fashion, and it tells you how to financially succeed, no matter what your income. <laughs> really good. And this, because I do a lot of, I used to do a lot of public speaking, Dale Carnegie books, How to Develop Self-Confidence and Influence People Through Public Speaking, and The Quick and Easy Way to Effective Speaking. They were kind of one and the same, but uh, fun to read. Let's see, what else? Oh, I probably shouldn't tell you about this. Immunization, theory versus reality, vaccinations, are they really safe? Did a lot of research when I was in, um, in my younger years. Let's see, Killer Ads by Robert Mannion. And then I just have books and books from seminars, uh, extremity seminars, clinical biomechanical analysis, how to x-ray people, uh, bulletproof knees, it was okay. You can get most of it free off the internet. Uh, let's see, what else? But I was a sucker, I bought it, right? Uh, laser procedures, cold laser. What else we got here? Uh, let's see. Oh, this is a good book. U Squared. That's a good one. I'll put that in the link for you, too, down below. And then all these books. Look at this. I bought all these. These are from a guy named William Esteb, and he wrote books beyond results, chiropractic patientology, a patient's point of view. Basically, what he did was he summarized... What actually patients think? Do you know, let me put these away here. Do you know that, have you ever been talked to down by a doctor? Have you ever had a situation where you have no idea what the doctor is actually saying? It's frustrating. And what patients want and what doctors want are two separate things. And what's interesting about these books is he tells, particularly chiropractors, what actually patients want. Because chiropractors live in their own world and don't actually actually sometimes think of, well, what does the patient want? So those are good books. I think that if you just bought one of them, if you're a chiropractor, uh, you should buy them. But if you're a patient, you, there's no reason to buy them. Uh, this is a good one. Uh, the Art of Manual Medicine. Uh, if you're a chiropractor, and you are um, adjusting extremities. Which, why do chiropractors not become experts in extremities? Um, I have only because of sports injuries and things and interest in that, but I think every chiropractor should buy this guy's stuff. Uh, Daniel McCula, 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 McClure. <laughs> but these were great, and they actually came with uh, videos here. Uh, lightning bolt productions and actually uh, very good demonstrations of uh, soft tissue adjustments to the extremities and extremity adjusting. I learned a lot from these. So this is another awesome book. It's called Pain Erasure 
the Bonnie Prudent way, and basically it's trigger point therapy, but done so simply that anyone can learn it. Now you can of course buy a Travell and Simons book and learn all the details and the anatomy, but it's, it's for the average person, this is actually a great book um, to learn how to do trigger point therapy on yourself. So if you have fibromyalgia, a lot of muscle pain, this is awesome. So now we're on the top shelf and basically federal taxes, ads, stats from my practice, Gonstead seminars that I've been to from years ago, just constant notes uh, that I've taken, kind of boring, right? More Gonstead seminars, Gonstead, Gonstead, Gonstead directory and seminars. Here's a whole book. This is, gosh, this is so weird, but just notes and notes that I've taken over the years of uh, at seminars, particularly from uh, Gonstead seminars. This is a book I've mentioned uh, before. These are the chapters, they call them the chapters of the original uh, summary of how to do Gonstead. Um, what else do we have here? Here's some, here's some cool books. This is a great book if you're a chiropractic student uh, this is an old book, but you should really read this. It's Are You the Doctor? Doctor by Fred Barge. Um, really an awesome uh, book. Uh, he wrote another book called Life Without Fear. <laughs> Fantastic. This is one I found in my dad's uh, library um, called The Greatest Salesman of the World. In the World. Good book. And this book here, let me put this away. What we got here? This was my first original book that I got for Christmas in, uh, oh, this is so funny. This is the first book I ever got uh, for cycling. I must have been 10 years old or something like that. And, it's, and back when people bought you a book and wrote uh, stuff and it says, Dear Adam, we hope this book is just the beginning of a fun time on 10 speeds. <laughs> Love mom and dad. I kept the book because it is kind of cool. Uh, let's see. And then I have Bob Key, Bob Roll. If you're a cycling fan, you should be watching that. And the last two books that I have here that are of interest to you, Back Mechanic. Basically, Stuart McGill wrote a book on how to be your own mechanic on your own spine. This is a great book. Great book. I'll put a link down below. You can buy it on Amazon. Fantastic book. If there's ever such a thing as curing yourself, uh, it's this one. And then uh, this is The Ultimate Back Fitness and Performance, again by Stuart McGill. I have a lot of uh, notes here. Essentially, this is more for a doctor to try to prescribe certain exercises or a very high-end uh, personal trainer. So that, oh, and the last book here is uh, my corporation. So those are my books, and that sometimes when I'm doing videos, you ever wondered what's behind here and what do I have right at my access? Um, that's it. If you thought this was an interesting video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, you can just ask in the comments section down below. If you have a specific video that you want to see, then what you need to do is you need to become a patron. And a patron, you have to pay per month, but I will make individual videos just for you. My girlfriend wanted me to take the spider out instead of killing it. So we went out for drinks. He's a cool guy, wants to be a web developer. Ha 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 ha.